Digit All, Innovation and Technology for Gender Equality is the theme for this year's International Women's Day celebrations. It highlights the role of innovative technology in promoting gender equality and meeting the health and developmental needs of women and girls. International Women's Day celebration is a day set aside to not only highlight the achievements made by women but also avail them the opportunity to become better informed, collaborate and brainstorm on the path forward. In pursuit of these goals, the economic contingent in the Gambia, joined by other sister security forces in the Gambia, has on Thursday celebrated the International Women's Day at their base in Fajara. Since the inception of ECOMIG in 2017, a total of 170 women have participated in this mission. Currently, the force has a total strength of 1,000 soldiers, 55 of whom are women, who actively participate in all peace and a security on security operations of this mission. Globally, the increasing number and use of mobile phones and internet connectivity have facilitated access to health information and services. The adoption of digital health and other technological innovations has positively impacted electronic medical records, health data management, security and effective communication between health workers, patients and community stakeholders. Women in military face a lot of challenges. These include some policies that affect family life. For example, previously there were a policy that requires women staying single for three years after commission without marriage or ch childbirth. However, our male counterparts were not affected by this policy. This policy, I must say, affected a lot of women. Thankfully, this particular policy has been reviewed to six months. There have been great advances in women's rights over the past 75 years since the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, which includes the security sector. Women influence the text of the declaration that has given women critical social changes and continue to lead social change that has enabled more people to enjoy their human rights. Since then, progress at the global level has been mirrored by positive changes in the lives of women and girls. There are more and more women in leadership positions. On every continent, women have been elected to lead governments. In many professions which were once close to them, women now hold decision-making positions. So for us with the Gambia Police Force, yes, we've been so far, but as of now, we are coming up. The Gambia Police Force, the, the senior management have allowed us to form a gender unit and then we have the female network. I am the PRO of the female network. The female network is part of empowering women so that we can discuss our issues. It's high time for women to be up there and speak for ourselves. We want our voice to be heard and that can only be done when we are given the chance to express ourselves because as the saying goes, the one who feel it knows it very well. Despite the significant gains, we continue to see the rollbacks on women's rights. However, online and offline, women are still standing up against the anti-rights and anti-gender trends. They are still demonstrating, still advocating, and still mobilizing. On behalf of the Gambia Armed Forces High Command, I wish to seize this opportunity to commend the Economic High Command for taking this initiative to mark this very important event in such a grand style. We are honored to be part of this event. I think the disadvantages are many and they come from very many different angles. But we should not lose hope. Um, the fact that we are celebrating Women's Day means that um, the consciousness is there. I've been listening to the statistics from the Gambia Armed Forces, the Gambia Police Force, and it's very encouraging that um, the forces seem to recognize that they need the other half for them to move forward. Promotions are not decorations. They should serve to remind you that there's somebody watching you, both in front of you and behind you. 
somebody in front looking to see if you are worth it, and somebody at the back hoping to get to where you are. So with that consciousness, I think we should serve and serve diligently, um, take the opportunities that are given to us, overcome the obstacles, and try as much as possible to be worthy of the positions we are given. According to the United Nations, 85% of women have witnessed digital violence against other women, while 38% of women have personally experienced online violence. As the floor was open for the women to share their ideas, all of them recommended being given more opportunities as they are not working in the male-dominated sector. Reporting for Kerfatu, I am Buba Gajigo.